Hi, everybody. Um, in this movie, we will uh, use a sketch I've already done in uh, pen and paper with a pencil at work. And uh, this is uh, a chance for me to play with uh, different brushes and playing with backgrounds and so on and so forth. For this drawing, I've made a sketch of a Viking using a Dane axe. Uh, it's an older guy, and what we're doing right now is just basically blocking in shapes with uh, with basic brushes. There's a lot of grays and browns uh, because he has various leather objects and metal and so on. Uh, we're gonna spice up the helm a little with some gold detail, and uh, we're also gonna put some. Uh, different kinds of uh, effects on his helmet and on his axe. What I'm doing here is that I'm uh, using uh, I double the layer, I just added black and white to, and then I used the chrome effect and the emboss effect. That way I get some texture to the helmet and make it look more realistic. And now I use some high-res pictures for the armor. I'm cloning the armor so it fits with his body stance uh, rather than just just adding it. Uh, I'm using some, some uh, texture from a helmet to add on his helmet. Again, trying to achieve a higher level of realism and more detail. Wasn't too happy with the sword, so I'm changing that. Uh, the sword pommel are now in metal instead of a, a ceremonial gold. Working a bit with levels, trying to get some more contrast in the character. And uh, I'm coloring his, his axe red because he's a member of the Ulfhidnia. They made all their shafts, and spears, and axes red. So, of course, he has that as well. Now, I'm slowly beginning to add texture to the various objects we're already blocked in. Uh, this is done to achieve a high level of realism and not make it look like just plastic. Um, He's an old gritty guy, so his face should be like worn and torn. Um, not, not too happy with it, uh, his eyes yet, but it'll come. Good trick for the white in his eyes is to use the same skin tone as his face color, just lighter. But not never use pure white. I've done a mask, and now I'm gonna start working on the background. He's a warrior from the north, so I'm gonna place him in the north with blues, various shades of blues and white, quickly blocking in some background, trying to make some snowy mountains. Don't use too many colors and, and rarely use pure white, that should be like the last thing you add. I'm using various brushes again, playing around with those. Uh, and now taking a bit of the background color and toning him with that, that's an old trick as well, so he's not too colorful. Working a bit with the with the hair, I use about three or four levels of colors on the hair, working from dark to light. And uh, the hair that's against the background, I'm, I'm raising it a bit so it's not super sharp. His teeth aren't supposed to be too white either. More or less finishing off with him exhaling, and now I'm going to start adding more drama to this guy. We have him uh, with lighting from from behind so that light will affect the way we perceive his uh, stance and, and, and various objects refle reflect light in a different way so his axe is going to reflect it brighter than the leather rim of his shield for instance sort of like just adding in those details and using a selection I made of the character before that to clean out uh, X's white he was a bit too bright in the color, so I'm dimming him down even more and as a final effect, adding snow. The closer the snowflakes are to me, I'm using Gaussian blur. So the closer they are to me, I make different layers of snow. The more I blur it, the farther away they are, the less I blur it. That way I achieve a sense of level, uh, sorry, depth. I'm now again adding some white here and there to... Uh, to make him stand out. And there you have it.
a Viking Danax wielding warrior. So, comments are welcome. Thanks for watching.